All righty, Mr. McCacken, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. I wanted to ask right off the bat, everyone wonders, what exactly does the constable do? That's a, a question we get a lot here. Um, it's, it's pretty basic stuff. We are the law enforcement side of the JP courts. So we handle all the paperwork that comes through the JP court, whether it's a summons, an eviction, someone's being sued, child support, all those go through the courts and we get the paperwork and we go out and serve them. On top of that, we also do traffic, uh, warrant, we serve warrants, regular patrol, you know, just basic stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. What specific accomplishments or initiatives do you believe distinguish your candidacy and qualify you for the role? Uh, I, I, well, obviously I'm in the chair, so that's, that's a big plus. Um, but I think the, over the years, we've Im implemented the mental health program. So we were able to get, uh, for the first time in Nueces County, the constable's office to have mental health officers in our offices and respond throughout the county. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And um, for this potential next term, what are some of your goals? Talk to me about that. Well, we'd like to, first, we'd like to um, make our reserve pool bigger so we can have more reserve officers to uh, facilitate all the high school, the uh, extra school, or excuse me, after school activities. So if they need help with security or anything in the school zones or anything like that, we have the ability to augment their uh, police force and help them with ours. Um, I want to, let's see here. There's, well, there's a couple of things that I, I'd like to bring, but, you know, I can't go into a lot of detail, but, it, you know, there's, there's some things I want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, why should those in Precinct 2 vote for you? I think I've proven myself, uh, one, as a good leader, uh, two, as uh, fiscally responsible for the taxpayers' money. Uh, every year we've come in under budget what we, what we get allotted. Um, we are... Uh, good stewards uh, of our community. So I think um, with me being behind the desk and my leadership, uh, we were able to move this precinct in a, in a direction where I felt we needed to go. Yeah, and um, I know a lot of people, not necessarily just Flower Bluff, but Precinct 2, maybe they haven't, you know, they don't know you on a personal level. What's something that you want people in Precinct 2 to know about you personally, Jason? that they have the ability to call here and talk to me personally. Um, I have a county phone. I give that number out often. Um, a lot of public officials don't give their private numbers out. They call the office, they leave a message. Oh, I'll call you back. Uh, you can call me directly, whether it's my personal phone, whether it's my county phone, or whether you come in, my door is always open. They have the ability to come in and say, I would like to speak to the constable. And they can come in and sit down and tell me what's on their mind and see if we can help them in any way. Anything else that you want to add, sir? Just get out and vote. Uh, May, 28th, May, May 20th through the 24th is early voting. May 28th is the day of voting. Just get out and exercise your constitutional right and uh, vote for the best candidate.